everybody. Welcome to Short Circuits. Today I'm doing a stretch workout using the TRX suspension trainer. And uh, we're not going to get sweaty today, okay? It's going to be nice and easy and chill and relaxing. But before I begin the workout, I do have a really big favor to ask you. Can you please vote for me in the Muscle and Fitness Hers Miss Health and Fitness 2020? I have never entered myself into a contest before, but uh, I think I have a good chance of winning if each and every one of you voted for me. So please, please can you do that for me? As you know, I do not charge for my videos. They are free and I don't make a lot of money off of YouTube. And the first prize for this contest is to receive $20,000, which I could really use to buy new equipment for filming and editing and also I want to revamp my website it is homemade it's not very good and I didn't really use it before but I'd really like to use it so I would definitely put that money towards my website design and development and the other part of the first prize is to be featured on the cover of the magazine which would be gosh a dream come true you know you guys I'm not in my 20s 30s 40s I'm in my 50s and I want a chance to inspire people as they're getting older to show them that they can still be in shape, healthy, fit and strong no matter how old they are. And uh, yeah, so I would really, really appreciate your vote and uh, please look in the description below, go click on it. So I'm just going to thank you in advance because I know you're going to do that for me. Anyway, without further ado, let us get started with this stretching. You're going to need a mat and uh, Hang up your TRX. Let's get ready to do this. Okay, so you are gonna make sure that your TRX is fully lengthened, okay? So how you do that, if you haven't done it before, is just hold on to the buckles and pull all the way down. And we're gonna face away from the anchor point. We're gonna begin with a simple chest stretch. So you're gonna hold on to the handle. You're gonna walk yourself away until you feel some tension in those arms. And we're just going to stay here for about 30 seconds. Try to bring the shoulders down and away from the ears. The arms are obviously, as you can see, at shoulder height. And it is not, does not have to be excruciating. You just want to feel some tension and relax into it, okay? And we're going to be doing about five different stretches and we're going to do two rounds, okay? We're going to hold each stretch for approximately 30 seconds. And I would say we probably have about 10 more seconds here. And my chest is super tight. Okay, from here, we are going to put, now my, <laughs> my handles are a little bit too low here and I'm sorry I lengthened it all the way out. I wish I had it, but I'm going to just have to raise, because normally with the chest stretch, you do want to have it lengthened all the way out. But I think that uh, my little extender here is a bit too long. Anyhow, what I'm trying to say is shorten the handles now. So you hold the buckle open and you pull on the yellow tab. And you want to make sure that the bottoms of the cradles are just about a foot from the floor, okay? And what you're gonna do is just put the cradles in one hand and then you'd lift up the opposite foot and carefully put it into both straps, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is kinda hop away and I'm gonna come into a wide hip opener or as I like to call it, runner's lunge, okay? So you're gonna come all the way down and let that knee be over the ankle Extend your back leg and just sink into this. And maybe jean shorts were not the best idea, but it's what I felt like wearing. So you can take your the opposite hand to the front foot, flat on the mat. And if you want, you can rotate, you can open up the chest, whatever you feel like doing. But what this is really doing is stretching out your hip flexor on the lifted leg, the suspended leg. And we're gonna hold this here for 30 seconds, so I'm sure we're at least at 15 seconds now. And it's just such a beautiful day here. 
We have been having the best summer here in Canada. Oh my gosh, loving it. So happy. I, I think we're done. I think that's 30 seconds. So come on up carefully. In fact, you can just slip your, lift your foot up and your straps will slip off. And then what we need to do is the other leg, obviously. So grab the handles in one hand. Opposite foot goes in. That's really the easiest way. And then hop yourself away. Come on down. Relax into that stretch so that knee stays over the ankle. And then if you want to, you can stay here or you can just rotate. more seconds okay guys eight seven six five four three two and one hand comes down lift your foot up let the straps come off and we're gonna do a hamstring stretch next so you can leave the the TRX at the same length and what we're gonna do is reach one foot forward and you're gonna reach the arms forward and you're gonna push those hips back, okay? Oh, this feels so great. You're getting a front of the body stretch, the arms, shoulders, the chest. And then if you're really reaching those hips back, you're gonna feel an amazing stretch all the way from your Achilles right into the insertion point of the hamstring and the glutes. Eight more seconds here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then same thing, other side. It's a nice, easy transition. Reach. Pull the shoulders away. I, I mentioned that in my last video. The shoulders are always ready to creep up towards the ears, but you want to lengthen out. Always be creating space and length. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, from here, we're just gonna come down into a kneeling lunge. So a little bit more stretch through the hip flexor, but also really into the quads. And um, I'm just gonna bring my hands down into the cradles, just because it's a little bit more comfortable. I feel like I can get a little bit deeper into that stretch. So a little wardrobe adjustment. Drop your hips down towards the floor, but you're gonna keep that knee over the ankle. And once again, shoulders away from the air. So you're lifting and lengthening. And if you want to intensify the stretch, just squeeze the glute on that back leg. That's going to really release the opposing muscle, the hip flexor. And you can feel this in your quad as well, I'm sure. Feels so good. Releasing the tension from the weak. Okay, I didn't count you guys down, but I think we're at 30. So just changing legs now. And sink down. your glute of the back leg if you want to make it a little bit deeper. A 
couple more breaths. We are going to do a little stretch for the glutes. So you're going to face the anchor point. Sit down. You're going to cross one foot over the opposite thigh. Hold on to those handles. And then lift your chest. Create a little bit more tension. And if you can, you can kind of scooch in a little bit closer and even bend the elbows pulling yourself together and you should really be feeling this in the lifted leg on the outside. The IT band, that muscle that runs from the hip to the knee and right into your glute. are going to stand back up and I'm going to leave the straps where they are. We're just going to begin again. This is our second round starting with that chest stretch. So walking away from the anchor point, balancing out those hands and you could have the hands on the cradles as well or the handles. It's up to you. into that runner's lunge or wide hip opener and then we're gonna just rotate I lied I'm getting a little bit sweaty One more breath. Awesome. Head down. Foot out. Trading side. Hopping. Lunging. And turning. Facing away 
arms go overhead, stepping one foot in front, pulling those toes up, sitting the hips back, reaching forward and reaching backwards at the same time. Almost there. Just enjoy. And let's change sides. Reach. So eyes are gazing slightly in front, maybe about three feet in front. You want to imagine your neck as an extension of your spine. So just picture that. Fingertips out, no tension, except in the supporting leg. A couple more breaths. All right, I think that's 30 seconds. All right, we're going to do some kneeling lunges now. So you're just going to come down to your mat. Make sure that knee stays over the ankle. And you're reaching forward again. And I'm gonna drop my hands down into those cradles. I think I'm being eaten by mosquitoes. I'll deal with it. Stretch it out. Squeeze the glute on the back leg. And I'm gonna give you an option here to make this stretch even more about the quad. So I'm gonna put both, both handles or both the cradles into one hand, and I'm going to reach my opposite hand around. I'm going to bend that knee, and I'm just going to pull that foot in a little bit closer. That's a big stretch for your quads. Just an option. I love this stretch. Release the foot and gently ease it back down to the mat. Now we're changing sides. So we're going to start out with the simple lunge. Squeeze that glute on the back leg. And then if you're ready, just shift both cradles into one hand. Bend that back knee. My body really needed that one. Okay, release and come on up before you before you get down for the figure four stretch. So you're holding the handles, you're coming to a seated position facing the anchor point. You're gonna take one foot over the opposite thigh and you're gonna scoot yourself in a little closer and really feel that stretch into the glute. Lift your chest. Everything lengthened. If you need to scooch in a little bit more like I do, just to make it a little bit deeper. All right, let's switch sides. I'm gonna go back a little bit because I'm not sure how it's gonna feel that close. I might get there, but I'm gonna start here. And then, yeah, I'm gonna ease myself in a little bit more. Long, long spine, okay? Try not to collapse. You wanna lift and extend.
Okay, awesome. So that is the little stretching workout, but I'm gonna finish off with just one more amazing stretch, okay? It's for the lower back, and I know we didn't do it twice, but there's no harm in putting it in now. So I want you to face the anchor point, and I want you to just keep your feet where they are and just stick your butt out and let yourself lean back. Big stretch here for the whole region of the spine from the lower back all the way up to the neck. And then from here, let's just add a little bit of a rotation, opening up. And this is a really great one for the side body as well. The lats, this feels so amazing. sides. You don't have to stay 30 seconds on each side. Switch. Yes. it and I'm thanking you and yeah let me know what kind of workouts you want to see as usual I love hearing from you and until next time take care of you be healthy be happy and get sweaty